Wow. Oh my God, guys. Right out of the box. This thing just won my heart. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Diecast Enthusiasts. Now, get ready to dive into the world of perfection with PGM 164 scale models. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Dev and welcome back to RC Overdose X Diecast Domination. Now, PGM-164, guys, is on another level. What sets this beauty apart in the 164 market? It's not just its stunning detail, but the impeccable precision that goes into every centimeter. From the intricately crafted design to the authentic paint job, PGM has truly outdone themselves, guys. This is a Midnight Purple GTR R34 Z-Tune. Now, as you hold this masterpiece in your hands, you can literally feel the quality that sets it apart from the rest. I mean, from the rest. The attention to detail is unparalleled, making it a standout in any collection. Each curve, each line tells a story of fine craftsmanship and dedication to excellence. Something like this, I still haven't found in the market until today. So I hope you enjoy the session. Whether you are a diecast collector or a casual enthusiast, Get ready guys to get your hands on one of the most customized, one of the most perfected R34. Let's get going. Before we go any further, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel because up next we have the initial D RX7 and the Skyline R32. This one is by Modelers guys. They make amazing models. So hit that subscribe button and let's get the PGM rolling. By the box, you can tell that this is a midnight purple. Look at the amazing box. And this one is a very nicely formed, you know, collective piece of art. Let's open this. I'll show you guys the cylindrical case inside. Now, first thing first, they do offer a little door opener with the cars. And every time they have, you know, the, the proper color of the car itself. There we go. Right there. That's the shape of the R34. So that is very exotic. And there, right there, you're just gonna something you can use to open your door and hood. This is the box you'll be seeing right when you open the car. Some of them have protection on top, some of them don't. But all the ones that I've gotten, they all had that protection on top, so very well done. And then they also provide you a little 164 scale engine. And that does look very cool. I do have one from my old R34. It's laying right in front of the Nissan showroom. Let me show you guys. It's very tiny, but still has all the intricate details that you're supposed to have in an engine. Very nice. Wow. Oh my God, guys. Right out of the box. This thing just won my heart. Oh my gosh, guys. This is a beauty. All right. Let's unscrew this and take it out. All right, this is an absolute beauty, guys. Now, first thing first, have a look at the disc brake. It clearly has the holes and also the disc brake capillaries. Now, this is a five-spoke tire, so it's an authentic Nismo rim. And on top of that, guys, the extensive details that they've added right in the tire just makes it completely realistic. Moving on to the bottom of the chassis, you can see the arms, the rods, and also the exos popping right in. And also the exhaust pipe is going straight all the way to the back and also attaching right within the engine. And last but not the least, in the back of the car, they do have the roll cage part and also the exos and the A-arms. To put this much amount of details in 164 takes a lot of artwork and definitely guys, PGM has provided that for us collectors. Let's pop everything open. Here we have it, completely open guys. The trunk, the front with the hood strut and engine details within the hood. The interior details are extensive inside with the doors, the door handle, and also guys on the other side, 
you would have a completely decked out steering with the clutch speedometer and the acceleration right there. Let's make this model a little bit more cooler. PGM could have added some seat belts on the seats, but I mean, you can always get more and more and more. What they have provided is pretty good enough for me to be happy with when I open the packaging. But as a collector, I think that is something they need to consider. Well, let's make a solid use of this diorama layout and take some cinematic shots with that beast. I do want to point out some of the best details that reflect back as a collector for a collector. The first thing first guys are the lights on each and every angle. These lights feel meticulously crafted to 164 scale and they provide a real presentation of your 1-1 scale lights. Now on top of that guys, when you look at the bottom chassis and overall perfection finishing of this particular model. You can, you can easily tell guys that PGM has left no space, no gaps in making sure that they provide a very precise model for all our collectors. And I know you guys from Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, you guys collect a lot of different models. And I'm pretty sure that you will appreciate the value that this model holds for a collector. I think they are limited edition made 999 worldwide. And I'm not sure of my number here, but let's find out. We have 127 of 999. So not a bad, not a bad grab. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, God bless you all. Stay fresh. Peace.